Welcome back to my garage. I am Jeremy and today I'm going to teach you how to do a parking light circuit, a turn signal circuit, and a brake light circuit really easily. So let's get started. The first thing is the bulbs. These are 1157 bulbs, which are dual filament bulbs. Now this is a really cool circuit because we're doing three functions with two filament bulbs. Now these are super common, they're super cheap, and you can replace them with LEDs and it's totally fine. If you are going to be using LED bulbs instead of the incandescent ones, you need to swap out your Novita 552 flasher with one for an LED light system. Now inside this one is a bunch of witchcraft that makes it work with LEDs. These ones just don't work with LEDs, so you got to swap it out. You'll notice that each 1157 bulb socket has three wires going into it. So there's a ground wire for each one, and then each wire, the red and the white, is a power input for each filament. So the red wire goes to one filament, the white wire goes to another filament. Now this right here is a single throw, dual pole switch. Single throw means that it's either on or off. Dual pole means that it has two power inputs and two power outputs. Right here, we have a hydraulic brake switch. Now a hydraulic brake switch usually goes anywhere in the hydraulic brake system, and when you push down the pedal, it squishes fluid into the hydraulic brake switch, and it makes the connection between this terminal and this terminal. You could actually replace that with a plunger type switch. Now this kind goes on the brake pedal under the dashboard, and when you push the brake down, this plunger comes out, and then when your brake pedal comes back up, it pushes the plunger in. So this actually works in the opposite way that this one does, but it'll totally still work for this circuit. You just have to, you know, mount it to your car properly. This right here is a turn signal flasher. Now this is a two terminal flasher. It's made by Novita and it's Novita 552 is the part number. Now these flashers are super common. They're found in like every single car on earth. Sometimes you even have a separate one for the hazard switch and a separate one for the turn signals. They're super cheap. You can find them at every parts store or online and they make your turn signals flash. Now right here, you'll notice we have three fuses. One is for the parking lights, one is for the brake lights, and one is for the turn signal lights. Now the fuse sizes will actually depend on how you build your circuit. These bulbs are going to pull a different amperage than LEDs and if you added additional bulbs to the circuit, it would change the fuse size as well. I have another video showing you how to determine the fuse size and the wire size, and I will link that down below. Now the last and most important part of this circuit is the American Auto Wire 500148 switch. And all of these components go through this switch. So this switch makes all of this possible. Otherwise you'd need a big clunky turn signal lever, or you'd need some relays, or a variety of other things. This switch simplifies all of this and makes the brakes and the turn signals and the parking lights possible. Now the first circuit we're going to look at is the parking light circuit. And it begins at the ignition. Now I say ignition, but I really mean battery power that is turned on by the ignition switch. So when you have your key in the run position, this circuit and really all of these sh circuits should be powered with 12 volts. When you turn the key off, the 12 volts should go away. All right, so the parking light circuit starts here, goes through a fuse, and then it comes down here. It's this red wire. And it goes to the single throw dual pole switch, which it just jumps to, from one side of the switch to the other on this side. On the other side, you have one white wire coming over here that splits off and goes to this 1157 bulb and this 1157 bulb. The other white wire on this side goes to that side and it does the same exact thing. It splits off and it goes to each bulb. So when you turn on the switch, all you're doing is you're taking the power that goes through the fuse and you're jumping it from this side of the switch to this side of the switch and the power goes to this side and that side, just like that. Now the next circuit is the brake light circuit. So we're gonna have power come in. It's 12 volt ignition power, just like the other one. Through a fuse, over here it's the red wire, comes to the brake switch. Now the brake switch is just two pins, so power comes in one side, and then it goes out the blue wire over to here 
to the American Auto Wire 500-148 switch. Now, that's basically just taking this power through the switch over here, and then, depending on the conditions, this switch is either going to send it to both of these brake lights, or it's only going to send it to one or the other if the directionals are turned on. So let's take a look. So right now, we have the right directionals on. And now, we're going to turn on the brakes, and you can see the left, um, the left rear brake light turned on, but the right one kept blinking. And that's the way the directional should work. And then, of course, if you switch it to the other side, you have your left directionals. And if you turn on the brakes, you have the brakes working on the right side, and the left directionals are still on. And then, of course, if you turn the directionals off, you'll get both brake lights, like that. Now, the brake lights and the turn signal lights are using one of the filaments in these two rear bulbs. The parking lights are using the, uh, the opposite filaments. So, as you'll see, we have the parking lights on, and if we turn on the brakes, it uses the second filament in each of the bulbs. And then if we turn on the, dirt, the turn signals, we have the turn signal on, the parking light on, and now we have the brake on, which you can see right here. Now the last part of the circuit is the turn signals. So, just like the others, you start at the ignition, come through a fuse, right over to the turn signal flasher. Now, all the flasher does is it makes the bulbs blink. So if you didn't have this flasher here and you just connected these wires, the bulbs would just turn on or they would turn off. They wouldn't flash at all. So, we'll have power come in the flasher, and then it goes out of the flasher through this yellow wire down to the, uh, the 500-148 switch. Now, again, depending on the conditions, it's going to do one of two things. It's either going to make the uh, left turn signals flash, or it's going to make the right turn signal flash. So, let's just uh, do a little example and I'll show you. So, right now we have the right turn signals on. And what's happening is you have power coming through here, going through the turn signal uh, flasher, through the yellow wire, and then it goes out this red wire and out that red wire. And then as soon as we swap it to the other side, you have power coming in the flasher, through the yellow wire, and then out the red wire here, and out the red wire here. Now, you may be thinking, what happens if you want to add hazard lights to this as well? So then you have four functions with dual filament bulbs. Let me tell you, it's pretty easy to do. All you need is a second flasher, the same exact one as that. You need another fused wire, or a fuse box of some sort. And then you need another switch. Now this switch is the same exact switch that this is. It is a single throw, dual pole switch. It's literally the same exact one, and then you need some wires. So, let me show you how to actually wire it up. Now, right here, you have your power feed for your hazard lights. Now, this is going to be a separate power source than these three, because these three will turn on and off with your ignition switch. This one, you want powered all the time, no matter what. You don't want it connected to your ignition, because when you're using your hazard lights, you generally have the engine off, the ignition off, you just want your lights to be flashing because, you know, you're on the side of the road. So this wire will actually go straight to a battery source that is powered all the time. Now, it comes through here, goes through a fuse, and it comes to your flasher. And your flasher, again, is the same exact one as there. It's the 552. And the power comes out of the flasher through this yellow wire. Now, it goes to the switch, which again, is the same exact switch as this. And both terminals over here are jumped together. So now this side of the switch basically has a flashing power signal going to it from the flasher. Now as soon as you turn the switch on, like so, that flashing electrical signal goes through the switch and jumps over to the parking lights. Because these white wires come out of the switch and jump right over to the, parking, the, the white wires of the parking lights. So all you're basically doing is sending a different power source to your parking lights to make them flash. And then your parking lights still work perfectly with your ignition switch as well.
Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove this to get back to the simplified circuit so we can talk a little bit more about that. Now there are many ways that you can wire a circuit like this, but this happens to be my favorite because it's the simplest. It just works, there's not a ton of things that can go wrong, and it's just really easy to wire. If you like this video, you'll probably like some of my other videos as well. So definitely check out some of the other videos I have, leave some comments down below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe and like, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Should we hook up some LEDs? I think we probably should. Let's do that. All right, gotta make sure we plug this one in right. These things only work in one direction, so if you mix up the wires, it won't blink. So let's take a guess at it and see which one it is. Oh yeah. Parking lights. Now let's see if we have brake lights. Oh yeah. And turn signals. And brake lights.